Ford Super Mustang Mach-E breaks all limits at Pikes Peak 2025. Welcome to EVpedia, your go-to power source for everything electric on four wheels. Before we race into this adrenaline-pumping EV showdown, here's a quick but essential disclaimer. This video is crafted purely for educational, commentary, and news purposes. Any clips, visuals, or references belong to their respective owners and are used under fair use for the sole goal of informing and exciting our EV-loving community. Now strap in because what we're about to reveal isn't just a car, it's a lightning bolt on wheels. But first, here's a challenge for you. Do you know how many pounds of downforce the Ford Super Mustang Mach-E produces at 150 miles per hour? If you think you know, drop your answer in the comments. And if not, well, no worries, because we're about to take you through every twist and turn of this electrifying monster. But hey, don't just ride shotgun, get involved. Smash that like button like it's a launch pedal. Drop your guesses and opinions in the comments. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Let's set a fun community goal today. 10,000 likes and 1,000 comments in the next 24 hours. Are you with us? Now let's start this race. In the fast lane of electric innovation, Ford is charging ahead, literally. The Blue Oval is back at again with a machine that's not just bold, but breathtaking. It's called the Super Mustang Mach-E, and it's been designed for one thing and one thing only, domination at the legendary Pikes Peak International Hill Climb. Nicknamed the Race to the Clouds, this event is no ordinary challenge. With 156 corners carved into a 12.42-mile ascent and an elevation gain of over 4,700 feet, it's where only the boldest machines and drivers dare to go. And this year, Ford has brought their wildest creation yet. Let's break it down. The Super Mustang Mach-E is built on a completely bespoke chassis, custom designed to handle the brutal uphill sprint. At its heart, not one, not two, but three ultra-high-performance electric motors. Together, they unleash a mind-blowing 1,421 horsepower. That's right, even more than last year's Victoria Super Truck, which only managed 1,400 horses. But Ford didn't stop there. The engineers sliced off 250 pounds, making this EV leaner, faster, and more aggressive. Think of it like a racehorse shedding weight before the derby. Every ounce counts, especially at high altitudes where power loss is the enemy. And now, here's where it gets wild. Let's talk downforce, the invisible hand that keeps a race car glued to the tarmac. At 150 miles per hour, the Super Mustang Mach-E generates a jaw-dropping 6,900 pounds of downforce. That's like strapping a full-grown elephant to the top of the car to hold it down. And if it reaches 200 miles per hour, that figure shoots up to a staggering 12,000 pounds of aerodynamic grip. To put that in context, last year's Supervan had just 6,000 pounds at the same speed, and the runner-up from 2023 managed only 4,400 pounds. All of this is made possible by an aggressively engineered carbon fiber aero package that looks like it belongs in a sci-fi film. It's not just fast, it's sticky. Now you might wonder how much juice this beast carries. It's equipped with a 50 kilowatt hour battery, which on your daily driver wouldn't even raise an eyebrow. But here's the twist, Pike's Peak isn't a marathon, it's a sprint. For a 12 mile uphill climb, that's more than enough power. The battery pumps out 700 volts to the motors, and thanks to advanced regenerative braking, it can absorb up to 710 kilowatts of energy during deceleration. That's a huge upgrade from the 600 kilowatts Max Regan in last year's racer. But power without control is chaos. That's why Ford has outfitted the Mach-E with forged magnesium wheels wrapped in grippy Pirelli P0 tires. Combine that with high-performance carbon brakes, and you've got a zero-emissions monster that can rocket up a mountain and stop on a dime. And behind the wheel, none other than Romain Dumas, Pike's Peak legend, and the current record holder. In 2018, he tore up the mountain in Volkswagen's ID.R and clocked a breathtaking 7 minutes and 57.148 seconds, the fastest time ever. Last year, he brought four to win with the super truck, completing the climb in 8 minutes and 53.553 seconds. This will be Dumas' 10th attempt at Pike's Peak, and this time he's gunning for another title with an even more extreme machine. His words, This Mach-E is a different beast. We're pushing the limits again, and that's what the mountain is all about. And honestly, he's right. Pike's Peak isn't just a race, it's a proving ground for what's next in mobility. The Mach-E will wear the number 310, a tribute to Ford's third consecutive run at this legendary hill and Dumas' 10th drive in the event. That's history in motion, folks. 
According to Mark Rushbrook, Ford Performance's global director, this vehicle is a statement, we're continuing to push the boundaries of what's possible with electric vehicles. This Super Mustang Mach-E demonstrator represents the next stage in our electrification journey, lighter, leaner, just as powerful, and more capable in high-altitude competition. So what does this mean for you and me? It means the EV revolution isn't just happening on highways and in city traffic, it's happening at the most extreme racing venues in the world. It means that performance, range, and excitement are no longer separate goals, they're united in machines like this. And it means electric is no longer the future, it's the now. Hey, quick pit stop in the middle of this race. If this level of engineering genius, speed, and EV passion is getting your adrenaline going, don't hold back. Smash that like button, drop a comment with your thoughts so far, and if you haven't already joined the EVpedia family, this is your moment. Subscribing costs nothing, but it fuels everything we do. Let's cross 10,000 likes and hit that 1,000 comment finish line. Share this video with anyone who still thinks EVs are boring, because boring isn't part of this ride. Now, as we gear up for the June 22nd showdown at Pikes Peak, all eyes are on Ford. Can they pull off another win? All signs point to yes, but motorsport is unpredictable, and that's the thrill of it. With new challengers on the horizon, the 2025 pick is going to be one for the books. And here's Evpedia's take on it. We think Ford's Super Mustang Mach-E is more than just a race car. It's a glimpse into the future of high-performance EVs. With improvements in power, efficiency, regeneration, and design, it's clear that the race isn't just up the mountain. It's toward a new era in automotive excellence. What do you think? Is this the most exciting EV of the year? Do you believe Ford will dominate again? Or will someone else take the crown? Drop your thoughts in the comments. We read every single one. Now, before we wrap things up, let's circle back to the question we asked at the start. How many pounds of downforce does the Super Mustang Mach-E produce at 150 miles per hour? If you guessed 6,900 pounds, you're absolutely right. And for those curious about that monstrous 12,000-pound figure, that's when the car hits 200 miles per hour. Yep, that's what electric aerodynamics looks like at full charge. Now, as part of the EVpedia family, here's your bonus EV fact of the day. Did you know that Formula E cars regenerate nearly 40% of their total race energy through braking alone? That's right, regenerative braking isn't just a neat eco feature, it's a race-winning strategy. And that same tech is what's evolving into production cars like the Mach-E. Thank you so much for sticking with us all the way to the summit. Your support means the world to us, and it's what drives this channel to keep creating exciting, informative, and community-powered content. If you haven't done it yet, hit that subscribe button right now. Don't miss out on what's coming next. Drop us a comment with your take on this insane Mustang, hit the like button if this video charged you up, and let's break our 10,000 like, 1,000 comment record together. And hey, want to go that extra mile? Tap the super thanks button to support us directly, and help EVpedia stay fully charged and racing ahead. Until next time, stay plugged in, stay passionate, and keep chasing that electric thrill. This is EVpedia signing off.